Galileo would like a word with you. This panel proposes the existence of a ninth planet in our solar system, and it's not Pluto I'm talking about. To avoid confusion, let us agree on the definition of a planet. A celestial body may be called a planet if it meets the following criteria. A planet must orbit the sun and not another object. It has to be spherical due to its own gravity pulling everything together, and it has to be large enough to have cleared this orbit of other debris. Pluto matches the first two criteria but fills on the last one. To explain the idea behind this panel and why some think there is still an undiscovered planet in our solar system, imagine a super heavy object like let's say the sun. It will bend the space-time fabric and thus pull nearby objects, simply gravity. But since other planets are spinning so fast, they will not go straight to the sun but will orbit it instead. Fun fact, by measuring the form of an orbit, we could find the mass of whatever is in the middle of it. Applying this principle while observing the center of our galaxy, scientists noticed a star orbiting rapidly around nothing. That nothing has 4 million times the mass of our sun. To our knowledge, the only thing that fits this criteria is a supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. We don't see it because a black hole has so much gravity that even light can't escape it. One of the only ways to observe it is to see what's orbiting around it. So by now I'm sure you understand the idea behind the supposed ninth planet, which some like to call planet X. The hypothesis comes from the observation of objects beyond Neptune like Sedna, which was discovered in 2003. It has an eccentric orbit which is unusually elliptical. What I mean is that it has an abnormally elongated orbit, to the point where Sedna takes more than 11,000 years to complete one orbit around the sun. Now the suggestion here is that the cause of this strange and unusual orbit is the presence of a nearby giant object influencing its motion. That object would be situated behind the Kuiper belt, meaning it's pretty far away from the sun. Perhaps that would be the reason we couldn't see it. According to calculations, it has to be at least five times the size of Earth. This reminds me of how scientists assumed the existence of dark energy and dark matter based on cosmic observations, but the important thing here, planet X can't be a planet. We can't even see it. It doesn't behave like a planet, and it doesn't meet the criteria previously mentioned to be called a planet. The explanation behind Sedna's lone orbit it lies in its distance from the sun, which is on average 500 times the distance from Earth to the sun. This alone, however, doesn't explain the elliptical shape of the orbit. Scientists still debate this, but planet X is mostly off the table as other explanations have emerged, like the suggestion that a passing star might have disrupted Sydney's orbit in the early solar system. But that's another topic. 